What's going on everybody? It's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. You already know what it is. So I just want to list the top five reasons why you should buy an angelfish. Reason number one is they are fun to watch when it's feeding time. They are aggressive eaters and they can eat plenty of food. They can also eat a wide variety of foods. Uh, one of the main types of foods that people can feed angelfish is bloodworms. If you give bloodworms to an angelfish, they cannot resist that food. That is their favorite food. Um, you can also feed them some mice shrimp. You can also feed them some krill. Uh, just make sure that you cut the portions down to fit in their mouths. You don't want them chewing on anything that's too big for them to swallow. Uh, they will eat flakes. That should be part of uh, their main part of their diet is what I was trying to say. Uh, got a little tongue tied there. Um, flakes, uh, some pellets if they're small enough. Um, they'll even go after uh, zucchini, um, algae uh, wafers. They eat a lot of foods and they can stack on weight pretty quickly, which means that they can grow pretty quickly. And that's another cool thing about angelfish is that they can eat a good amount of food. Um, you will have to try not to overfeed them because they don't know when to stop. But that's you know the reason why they're able to grow so fast is because they're able to just eat 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 and just keep going uh, they are little vacuum cleaners in a little glass box filled with water so keep that in mind but like I said it's really fun to watch them eat um, they are very active when it comes to feeding time also angelfish are pretty smart uh, sooner or later they will associate you with feeding time so that means they will become fond of you and accustomed to you uh, so when they see you approaching the tank they know that um, you are friendly and that you are going over to them to possibly feed them so every time they see you they will run towards the tank towards you because they think that you're going to throw some food in there for them uh, that's how much they like to eat um, so definitely get an angelfish for that reason uh, reason number two why you should get a angelfish uh, in case you're really invested in this hobby and you have a lot of time on your hands uh, angelfish are not that hard to breed so um, if you want to do some projects on the side um, you can you know get some angelfish get them to breed uh, grow out the babies uh, and just take care of them for a few months and then maybe you can sell them off to a local fish store or sell them online however you prefer um, they are next to guppies one of the easiest fish to get to spawn it's really not that hard I actually have uh, a few videos on how to get angelfish to pair up and breed and spawn for you I'll make sure to put those videos in the description I'll also leave a comment down below um, and I'll list a few videos but uh, it's pretty basic stuff uh, pretty much you just want to get eight angelfish wait for two of them to pair up and then sooner or later they'll lay eggs Keep in mind though, whenever you get a angelfish pair, um, every week they will lay eggs for you. Angelfish, they lay eggs once a week. Um, and how many eggs they lay depends on how many times you change out their water and how well you feed them. If you feed them pretty good, uh, meaning you feed them twice a day and then throughout the week, uh, maybe three times a week, you'll feed them like some red blood worms or some other type of uh, frozen foods um, they can lay a lot of eggs for you um, and produce a lot of fry for you in fact it is so easy for two adult angelfish that I have paired up to overwhelm you and overrun you with tons and tons and tons of baby angelfish uh, like I said keep in mind um, it's a lot of work and when this happens in a community tank um, for example, um, if you have a group of angelfish in a tank, there is a very high chance that you know two angelfish within that group is going to pair off. And when they do pair off, uh, they will get a little aggressive with each other. So just be prepared to have a tank for the pair in case they decide to pair up and fight with everybody. So another reason why you should get angelfish is that they are easy to care for. Um, they are not hard to keep at all. Um, they are one of the easiest fish to keep for fresh water. Um, they are very hardy, meaning they are not too sensitive to 
you know water quality water parameters they they don't require much um, all they require is that you feed them twice a day um, and you do your regular water changes um, I recommend doing like a 50% water change about once a week so you know you could do it every Sunday or every Saturday whatever day you have off during the week I would go ahead and do a water change on that day um, they only require a heater because they are a tropical fish so that means they need warm water at all times so just make sure that you have a heater and again make sure that they are well fed also make sure that you change out the water and you should be in the clear uh, angelfish they don't need perfect crystal clear water they can survive in dirty water they can also survive being fed once a day um, they are not like other fish. Other fish are a little bit more sensitive to other things and require a little bit more care and attention. Uh, angelfish just like to be fed all the time. You can completely uh, neglect them for a week and they will just continue to ask for food. Uh, the only thing that you should probably look out for is them being aggressive with each other. Uh, another reason why I recommend that you get angelfish is that they're very compatible with other tank mates as long as that fish or that tank mate is not bigger than the angelfish. Uh, I've kept shrimp with angelfish, I've kept discus, gouramis, uh, danios. The only thing that I wouldn't keep with angelfish is neon tetras. Sometimes neon tetras can become food for angelfish. I also wouldn't get like tiger barbs or just uh, any type of tetras that are very nippy uh, because angelfish they have these long beautiful fins and that's the perfect target for fish that like to nip at other fish so just keep that in mind um, they can be put with plants as well they won't eat the plants that's another good benefit of having a angelfish in a planted aquarium all right all right all right reason number five is well they come in a lot of different color strains there's a lot of different types of angelfish uh, so they come in a lot of varieties which is always good um, they come in veil uh, which means that their fins are really long and nice and then they also come in standard fins which means they have uh, you know fins like the ones that you see on the angelfish in front of you which are pretty short uh, kind of stubby um, and they're not you know all over the place like with a veil angelfish in my opinion veils are a lot better than standard fin um, if I had the option I would have all my angelfish veils but veil angelfish they cost a little bit more uh, because they look better uh, so they're worth more like Cheddar Bob right here he was standard fin and this is red and red has uh, veil fins as you can see so that's the difference between the two also red and Cheddar Bob they are considered a koi angelfish which is my favorite color strain of angelfish as you may or may not know uh, angelfish they come in like silver they come in blue they come in black they come in white sometimes they can come in hybrids which means they are a mixture of colors uh, but for me personally I really love the koi's I love the color orange on a angelfish it just looks really nice to me um, very bright and just appealing all around um, and I actually plan on getting some more koi angelfish the ones that you see in front of you are actually my new koi that I had ordered online not too long ago of the unboxing that I did for these two guys so make sure you guys check that out again the video is in the description so don't forget to check the description for the links okay guys so it looks like we have reached the end of the video here so I just want to say thank you for even making it this far I really do appreciate it your support means everything to me um, if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like also if you're new to the channel and if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe for me I promise you won't regret it 
Also, make sure to share this video if you can. Uh, share it on your Facebook, your Instagram, or whatever social media that you have. My name is Master Aquatics, and I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Take care, guys, and have a great weekend. Bye. Thank you, young God, for the blessing. Hey.